Ladies and gentlemen, can we ask uh, all the students of all the graduates uh, that are going to be receiving their certificates to come to their allocated seats up here? Uh, this is where your names are going to be written in the annals of history. So all, all the graduates are invited to come and occupy the seats up here in the front. It is not all the time that you are allocated a seat by the front. So please come and take your positions. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, welcome to this glorious evening, the wings and solo achievement awards hosted by Fly Fufa Aviation Training. We are going to start this program by inviting Mr. Isaac Dufilin to come and give us a word of prayer. Uh, thank you, Mr. Isaac, for inviting the Spirit of God to this very auspicious occasion. As the word says, where two or three meet in my name, there I am with them. And it can only be by God's grace that we are able to take off, get airborne, come back and land safely without any incidents or accidents. And as much as, we, as much as God is in control, we too, as fellow aviators, play a major role in ensuring the school continues to have a safe flying record through the years. With that being said, my name is Palisa Koza, and I'm the safety officer for Fly for Fly Aviation Training. My role is to ensure that my fellow aviators, as well as the South African skies, are kept safe at all times. I am this evening, my duty is to familiarize everyone with um, the emergency exits as well as the assembly points in our hangar. As you can all see, there's aircraft behind us which have fuel inside of them. Um, so it's advisable that we make sure we try and avoid keeping the fire hazards as far away from the aircraft as possible. Kindly note this is a strictly smoke-free zone. And should you need the feel the need to take a smoke break, we have a designated smoking area out on my left hand side through the glass door and towards the fence on the right hand side. Uh, evening on. Wow, this is amazing. This is really amazing. I think give yourself a round of applause for all of this. This is incredible that uh, Fly Fofa that started just, just a dream. Today we are, we are realizing it. Let me greet you again and say good evening to all our guests, my VVIPs, my students. We will not be here if it wasn't you. Uh, so I want to acknowledge you. Thank you for your time, uh, that you are here at school and you spent most of your time here with us. We really appreciate it. For sure, you see me more often here and some ask themselves, who is this guy that is forever working in the boardroom, working around? Today, it is money to know my name. You believed in my dreams and you assisted me to take flower vision training to great hearts. When I started this company, I never believed that one day it would be like this. And I still believe we can take it further. Like many businesses, we have our ups and downs throughout, and we managed to pull through. That's hence, we are still here today. It was COVID-19, it may seem so difficult, however, we still managed to pull through. I personally have learned a lot since 2018. We started the aviation training business in 2018, made so many mistakes, and I had to pay more and more school fees to graduate. I'm still learning. When we started the school, I remember we started with only that aircraft, ZS SNS. This was my first baby. I still remember I bought it from someone here in Ronald Room. And uh, when we started the school, then the guy said to me, I will listen to you, however I'm going to listen to you at a higher price than anyone else. So you are far much better buying it. And that's how I bought my first baby. And today is still flying. And thank you to them for the 
They usually say, until you spread your wings, you'll never know how far you can fly. So let's spread our wings so that we can see how far we can fly. Aviation business and health business is not easy. But let me tell you, throw me in the roof then and just sit, relax and watch me. I will come back leading the pack. And that's what I'm doing now. Ladies and gentlemen, Sanbonani Dumela, good evening. Let me thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to form part of this occasion tonight. It is your continued support that we bond on that keeps us going from strength to strength. We are gathered here tonight to celebrate excellence, to celebrate every student's milestone and achievement, the hard work and sweat of every student. Yes, the 45 hours are as important and worth celebrating as the 1,500 hours. The dual flights are as important as the solo flights. We therefore celebrate them all. Uh, number one, uh, as pilots, you learn something very powerful, is that when you are in trouble in the skies, you climb and you maintain, isn't it? Have you heard that powerful word, climb and maintain? Why do you climb? As you start this journey, the climb in this metaphor is the actions that you are going to take towards your future. You'll need to take certain actions for your future to be better. By receiving the certificate, the license that you received, it's one step. The climb in the metaphor is the actions that you are going to take towards your future. The maintain is is the ability to withstand the risks that you are going to face, the negative challenges that you are going to deal with, the naysayers that are going to say to you, you're not going to make it. So you need to climb and maintain. I also want to leave you with something powerful. As you face life today, remember the saying that your feet will never take you where your mind has never been. So if you're not prepared to risk anything, you'll never see the fruits of your labor. Thank you very much. I know that the crop of pilots that are coming from this institution are not the same as the ones that I have heard about. They say apparently, but I'm saying apparently, which means this does not come from me. I heard it somewhere. That if you walk into a room and there is a pilot, there is one way of knowing. The pilot will tell you that they are a pilot. You know? But there is also something I heard about pilots. But I still don't know how true this is. You know? There is a question that is normally asked. What is the difference between God and a pilot? Apparently, God does not think that he is a pilot. <laughs> but I know those pilots that I just spoke about are not the pilots that are trained at fly for fly. Am I right? Right. Are you sure? Chief? And they are 
We are still in the initial solo award. Arushi Prasad. Even in the World Cup, there are replacements. <laughs> the initial solo award goes to, I think I've met this gentleman, Taha El Faki. Yes. Just to show you that my normal memory works well, you said you are from Sudan. Great. <laughs> Initial solo award, Terence Musomani. You must not believe everything I tell you, no? No? There was no replacement there. It is the instructors that are actually supposed to give them the certificate. Don't believe everything you hear. Retic Raj. Initial solo award goes to Tlokohora Tilekile Wufile Molaha. No, no. I said my name now. Well done, Tilekile. Still on the initial solo award, Harry Bonolo Chueni. as I said, is going to be presented by Captain Monde Koya. You know what, Captain? It, it's not every time that I, I stand next to a Captain. So you know what? Um, uh, uh, me. You know me. I'm going to pay my dues. And I'm going to let you say a word or two. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. They, they said I must keep time. But him, like, they said I'm the master of ceremony. So I'm going to let you say just a word or two. Because those people wants to hear what the people they aspire to be can say to them. Am I right or am I right? Thank you, sir. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm really honored to, to be called up here to present this award. 
Uh, congratulations first to all of you. I've walked to this path. I know what it is, it's all hard work. But please, focus and keep on pushing. You'll get where we are. It's not, it's not impossible. There's nothing impossible. Please, just keep on giving your best and fly. And then uh, it's all possible. And, and the award goes to, the Top Gun Award goes to Katleho Mashaba. Congratulations, Katleho Masha. Well done. Let me invite uh, the former chief pilot at the SAA to come and present the Airmanship Award. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as I welcome on stage Captain Vusi Kumalo. <laughs> Now, before, before I tell you what the airmanship is all about, I also would like to ask uh, Captain Kumalo. Captain Kumalo, just a word or two. Thank you, Master of Seven. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's such an exciting day. Uh, I've never seen so many young pilots in one place uh, in my life. I'm hoping to be flying with one of you guys before I retire. Yeah. As I said, the next award is the Airmanship Award. This award goes to the student that has endured an overall attitude of a pilot. I was once told that your attitude determines your altitude. So they've displayed an overall attitude of a pilot. They are disciplined. They have grit and determination. They are hardworking. They are punctual. And they portray the admirable, typical characters of a pilot. And this Airmanship Award, ladies and gentlemen, gives me great pleasure this evening to call upon Ritik Raj. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Retik, and thank you very much for coming. The next special award is the special award which is going to be presented by the chairman, Mr. Tabo Fisher. Can I invite Mr. Fisher? Oh, Mr. Fisher is looking dapper today. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I told him earlier, I said, you know what, Mrs. Fisher, what do you want? She, she made a good choice here, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? This instructor of the year. The category is epitomized by the individual that has demonstrated qualities that include skills and communication in listening, collaboration, adaptability, empathy, and patience by keeping the students' learning always a priority. Now, these are the people that did not choose the profession, but the profession chose them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me as we congratulate the ever delectable, ever principled safety officer here, Natalisa Paul. that cannot be seen or touched. It must be felt by heart. As such, 
It is with great privilege that I, Jackie Fisher, the CEO of Life for Five Asian Training, had to start by thanking all of you for joining us this evening for the I'll say it's an inaugural Life of Aviation Wings and Solo event. To start, I would like to thank our students again, their parents, their supporters, their sponsors, their funders. I'm proud to say we host students from South Africa, all nine provinces, from India, from Botswana, from Nigeria, from Ghana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Malawi, Namibia, Sudan, Congo, Gabon, Swaziland, Sweden. Uh, if I didn't call out your country here, uh, you should blame it on Dombin. <laughs> But I know we had a Uganda student. I don't see Uganda here. Uh, I would like to thank my Fly for Fire Aviation team, Fly for Fire Airways team, tonight's speakers, the MC, our dear friends, the Bonnerboom Airport Management, the Metropolis for your support on this first of many awards ceremonies going forward. Secondly, I would like to convey my deep regards and hearty thanks to our student sponsors and stakeholders who have graciously made it possible for many students to work towards their dreams. I respect all the parents that are making all means to make sure that they pay for their students. It's really hard, it's really difficult, but even during COVID, when we just opened, our worry was, you know, everyone got so much affected. We don't know if uh, parents will still be able to pay for their children because some lost jobs. But amazingly, we got more business than before COVID. Thank you very much to all those parents who are making it possible for their kids. And they're also making it.